So, inside your third-person camera boom, you'll find a section called camera lag. When you enable it, the camera no longer sticks rigidly to the player. Instead, it follows with a bit of delay. When you're designing something like a Devil May Cry style camera, you'll usually keep a moderate lag speed, around 4 to 6, just enough to give cinematic weight but not too much delay. When you set this to 1, the camera moves very loosely. It feels heavy, like it's floating behind the character, slowly catching up every time you move or stop. Here's the before and after, on the left, a static camera that just follows. On the right, our dynamic setup that zooms, shakes, and breathes with the gameplay. That's what gives your camera the same cinematic feel you see in DMC or other stylish action titles. And that's it for today's breakdown, so stay tuned.